this is the uh, how it works of my Mark VI arc reactor. Uh, what you're looking at here is this is the part of the stand. I haven't painted it yet or finished assembling it. Um, it's got a little rotator piece that goes on the inside uh, to give a little spinning effect. Uh, there is also this piece that sits inside uh, that just uh, diffuses the light on the inside of this kind of bowl cup shape thing. Um, so that again, I haven't done all the pieces yet, my printer, I'm trying to get that back up and running. Um, so this piece just sits on top, and this, if you've watched my other video, is my element, okay? And it's entirely self-contained. There's no button on here, it's just uh, three LEDs, a uh, little microcontroller, and uh, a light sensor. And it's set to respond only to very intense light, so even though right now the light's on, nothing's going to happen until we get an intense light source. So it fits nicely right into... Uh, right in here and uh, this is just a standard um, a bluish purple laser okay and again so all you're gonna do is um, aim it at this spot because that's where in the movie uh, you see the uh, laser hit the element and if I can get it right on there there we go oh. and it charges the new element um, and once you get to a certain point, it's self-activating. So again, if you've seen the other video, you've seen this before, but now I've got the battery. Everything's very nicely compact in there. Um, so from there, you can take uh, this little lens cover, um, which is modeled exactly like what you see in the movie. Uh, it just diffuses the light. and uh, So then you can remove this whole assembly from the, uh, the base. The base also has a little swivel part, but again, I'll get uh, more on that once I've done the whole thing. Um, this part on the chest uh, it has a little on-off switch uh, just to prevent the battery from continuously draining while it's waiting for this. And the back part here actually has uh, some copper connections. And this completes the circuit on the chest piece. So when I place it in, uh, it doesn't connect until I rotate. And that activates the sound and lighting effects uh, for the background uh, light to just illuminate this a lot more. Uh, the little triangular um, element it only lasts for maybe 30 minutes, um, but it's good enough for a startup effect piece. And uh, th this whole thing will last for a few hours for sure. Um, it's Velcroed on at the back. Uh, so there's Velcro. Uh, you can see there's nice uh, sound uh, holes there as well. And a little on-off switch just again to turn that off. So this is the entire uh, thickness of the unit. And I'm pretty happy with it. It, uh, I'm going to be unveiling this at the Iron Man 3 premiere. I'm uh, very excited about that. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is what uh, the Mark VI arc reactor finally looks like. So, yeah, I'll have another video with the stand showing you the whole assembly and how it all activates up and uh, is all controlled um, from this unit. That's it.